Hi everyone, my name's Gotlin, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own rice milk. During this difficult time when um, getting out and buying product isn't easy, um, I'm going to show you an alternative to obviously the, the normal cow's milk. For this recipe, um, you only need four ingredients, which is fantastic. You need some long grain rice, you'll need some runny honey or agave or some sort of sweetener that you want to use little tiny pinch of salt and some water. The equipment you're going to need. Now the only thing I had to buy especially um, were these little uh, meshes. Now I guess it's sort of like, you know, you can filter coffee through them or if you've got like um, some muslin cloth. Um, I tried to do it just with a normal sieve and the um, holes were too big and it made the milk quite grainy. So um, you will need to go and either get um, a coffee filter or a muslin cloth, um, or something that's got a very fine mesh that you can pass the milk through. Um, ideally you want a sieve as well, you, just so you can stand it in top of, and a vessel um, just to capture the milk. Um, a Nutribullet or something of equivalent, um, this is a silver crest, and it, again it's just something that we can whiz up the, the milk and the, the rice together. Uh, and obviously a saucepan, because um, we need to pre-boil the rice, which I'm gonna go through with you in a second. The very first thing we have to do is to cook our long grain rice. Um, we're going to use the absorption method, which I'll show you how we do in a second. Now this is literally one cup of long grain rice, so this is just a cup measurement. And all I've done, I've rinsed this under cold water about three times just to remove the excess starch. Now to this, we're just going to measure using our cup again. We're going to add two and maybe a quarter, two and a half cups of water. So there's the first. And the second and because we're making a milk out of this I'm going to make the rice a little bit wetter than I would normally so I'm going to add about another quarter cup so you just come and have a quick look into the pan um, the water level is maybe an inch maybe just under an inch over the uh, over the top of the rice and I'm just gonna put this now onto my stove and bring it up to a hard boil now that's going to take about 10 minutes or so. So the rice has been boiling for about three or four minutes now. I've just turned the heat down ever so slightly just so it doesn't boil over, but I want to keep it going on a rolling boil. Now I'm waiting for the water to be completely absorbed or evaporated and we get tiny craters appearing on the top of the rice. So that's had two more minutes and so you can see that the majority of the water now has evaporated or been absorbed. Now if you just look, you can see little craters um, just appearing on the top of the rice now. Now this tells me I need to turn my flame or your hob down to its lowest setting and we're just gonna pop the lid on. Now we're gonna give it two more minutes um, and then we're gonna switch the heat off but after we switch the heat off there's no peeping allowed. So keep the lid tightly on, on top of the rice and give it about another 10 to 12 minutes just to steam in its own residual heat. My rice has been um, cooking in its own residual heat now for about 12-15 minutes so um, it should be nice and fluffy and again I made it a little bit wetter than I would normally um, but you can now see in the pan and we have soft boiled rice so you can see it's a little bit stickier than I would normally have it if I was eating this for, for dinner but it's going to be perfect for making the rice milk. So we can leave that there for a second. Now what we need to do is measure out one cup of cooked rice and place it into our blender along with two cups of water. So that'd be the first thing I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna take my one cup of cooked rice and I'm just gonna carefully put this into my blender. And to that, I'm going to add two cups of water. Now this is just cold tap water if you want it to be super healthy, you could make it filtered water, but you don't need to. So there's my two cups of water. Now to that, I add a pinch of salt. So you only need to add a little pinch of salt. This is just um, sea salt and about half a tablespoon of honey or your sweetener of choice. Now I place the lid on 
make sure it's nice and tight. And this is going to get a bit noisy. So I let that run for about 25-ish seconds just to make sure that that rice was broken right down into the water, the salt and the honey. And I'm gonna get my bowl. Now I'm gonna pour this through my fine mesh, which is sitting over my sieve. And using another spoon, I'm just gonna gently mix this through just so um, it keeps on flowing through both of the sieves now you can see what's left over is just a really thick rice porridge and that's just had time just to sit so most of the liquid is now passed through the sieves all you've got to do now is just repeat until there's no more rice left and then you'll have a nice big bottle or maybe a couple of big bottles of rice milk. And there we have it, 1.5 litres of creamy rice milk made from one cup of dry rice, a little bit of water, a pinch of salt and some honey. All that's left to do is to decant it and this is an old organic milk bottle that I had. I don't know if it's going to be enough actually. the lid on and this will store in your fridge for about three to five days go and give it a go guys um, it's a great alternative to cow's milk and um, for you veggies and vegans out there that are drinking um, soya milk almond milk and rice milk this is such a cheap way of doing your own rice milk uh, and like I say the only bit of specialist equipment that I didn't have was this little sack here and um, I think they were about five pound from Amazon so um, so yeah go and give it a go and um, I hope you've enjoyed this video I am going to do a few more like this as well including some planting so um, I've started to plant in my garden now and I'm growing lots of vegetables so um, so yeah enjoy and um, please do try this rice milk recipe thank you please head on over to my YouTube channel which is www youtube.com forward slash Gotlin Wang which is spelled just like that don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell for notifications I'm uploading two to three times a week at the moment so uh, lots of content coming your way thank you